Howdy doody buckaroonies and welcome back to another episode of Morning Coffee with Cameron. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I want to talk about scoring. This is something I haven't talked much about on the channel, but I've gotten a number of requests for it, especially over the last couple of months, and figured it was time to finally sit down and make a video all about my scoring process. I don't honestly do a whole lot of media composing, but it is something I do want to get more into in the future, as I do really enjoy it. So far, my credits include such exclusive and premier titles as some weird app you've probably never heard of, or a couple random trailer bits and things like that. I haven't really done anything super notable, and funny enough, some of the stuff I've done scores or soundtracks for never even released. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Maybe they just ran out of money or something. So I do a little bit of media composing here or there. I will write music for trailers. I've written a couple intro things for apps and games, like the intro screen and whatever. I've done a couple soundtracks, if you can really call them that, for apps where it's like, five or six songs that just kind of play in the background as you play the app or do whatever you're doing. And that's really it. But like I said, it is something I want to branch out more into in the future. The problem with all this being I can't actually show this stuff due to contracts and other things like that. I'm typically under some kind of non-disclosure thing or something, so I can't technically show what I'm doing because when I'm doing it is probably well before it's actually out, so I can't show it. And then after the fact, just with the way the contracts are worded, I'm not entirely sure that legally I'm allowed to open up the project files and share them. So today, I figured the better way around this would be to show you how I write a score to picture, but we're gonna score one of my own videos because I do the background music for a lot of my videos. Not all of it, but a fair amount of it these days, especially since I started doing these cool cinematic intro things. That's what we're gonna be scoring here in this video. Today's video is brought to you by my friends over at Hook Theory. Hook Theory is an amazing online resource for learning music theory and assisting you with composing. If you are doing soundtracks and stuff or it's something you want to get into, I highly recommend checking out Hook Theory. It's a tool I use all the time for this kind of stuff to sketch out ideas and get ideas and unstick myself. It's a great resource for stuff like this because if you're really limited on time and you need to gather ideas that are good quickly, Hook Theory is really helpful for doing that. If you're not super keen on music theory and whatnot and want to get yourself up to speed, Hook Theory also has some books that are available that are both fantastic reads that I recommend you check out. They go from everything from starting from zero and understanding the absolute basics through to some pretty interesting and advanced concepts that I think really help you break out of your comfort zone a bit and maybe even refresh yourself on some stuff you might have forgotten about. If you want to check out Hook Theory for yourself, you can use my affiliate link down in the description below. You get a really cool resource to write better music and I get a small kickback as well, so it's a great way to support the channel so I can make more videos like this one. Okay, so here we are in the DAW and it's time to do some scoring stuff. I use Cubase for this myself, but you can use whatever DAW you want as long as it supports video. If you want to do scoring stuff, it's also important to make sure you have a DAW that syncs to frames rather than just beats and bars so you can match the frame rate of your video. That's particularly important, especially when I'm doing stuff like trailers where I have to line up a transition exactly on a specific frame, so do keep that in mind. I use Cubase to do all my scoring just because I know Cubase very well and I've been using it for so long, but feel free to use whatever DAW you want so long as it supports video. If you don't have a DAW that supports video, I guess Reaper would probably be the cheapest option and does all the essential functions you would need to do for scoring. So in this case, I always just move the video ahead on the timeline just a tiny bit. This way I've got a way to just count myself in. First up in the session, it's important to find the tempo, and I've already done this, but how I do this is I'll just watch the video. The days are never easy, and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. And I'm just gonna listen and feel out kind of the pacing of everything. And typically what I'll do for this as well is I'll maybe bring up a piano or something and kind of strum out some ideas and then just find the tempo that suits this well. So in this case, it seemed to be the magic number of about 60 beats a minute. In this case, I went with 62. And if we watch it back with a click. The days are never easy. And it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet with sunset. Groups. The pace of the speech and the pace of the cuts and whatnot, this seemed to line up pretty well. So we're just gonna start things off with that. 
To get things started, I usually like to do piano-based stuff, but I might do something a bit more synthetic. In this case, we're going for kind of a cheesy, you know, like hyper-cinematic feel because these intros are meant to be sort of funny and whatever. So in this case, I'm going to lean more into stereotypical movie trailer type shit. So I've got Piano Tech Pro here, and this is one of my custom instruments. So this is using the morphing features where I can morph between two different models. This is a morph between an upright felt and the cymbalom. I'm not totally sure what that is, but it sounds pretty cool, and it sounds like this. So very delicate, and we're just going to sort of plunk out a few ideas here. The days are never easy, and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all, and what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to- So I'm definitely feeling something kind of slow and plodding, and I think to build up the atmosphere we will bring in just a really big reverb just to sort of build into this. Okay, so I brought in some Eventide Black Hole here, which is like the best reverb for big epic stuff. It's really, really fun. Very spacious, but still sounds pretty warm. So I think we're just going to roll with this and try and establish at least the theme and the main idea. So we're going to roll in here and pluck something out. I'm kind of feeling... You know, those generic cinema pings, and I think we're going to work out of the key of, I guess, G sharp. The days are never easy, and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all, and what is the purpose of your existence with Maybe. creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music. That's kind of cool. Bot followers. So I'm thinking we'll go with something like that. And this is really the early process with all this. It's just a bunch of experimenting until I find something that works. So, and here we go. The days are never easy. And it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all. And what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page. Yeah, because I think that that's maybe what we want here is just kind of an emotional turnaround and whatever, because, you know, the speech is getting a bit more uplifting at this point. Uh, so we need to evolve from something like that into something bigger. So I think we'll probably bring in a layer with this piano just to get something that's a bit more inspiring. Okay, so to flesh out this idea and get some more mood going, I brought in two instances of Spitfire Audio's Labs. This is the Harmonic Birdsong Cello and the Arctic Swells. So I think we're maybe just going to play all three of these at the same time, and that should give us a pretty intense atmosphere. I've routed both of those labs to that black hole as well, so if I just play a chord, That feels pretty epic and interesting. I think we'll bring these up in the mix as well. And then just to show this, I brought in a couple effects on this piano. So the Bleas granulizer, uh, just a filtered granular thingy. That feels pretty cool. And then the H3000 band delays. This was actually recommended to me by Newfangled Audio. A uh, super, super cool delay, and really just flicking through some presets and applying a handful of tweaks, you can get some very cool sounds. So just the piano now with that granulizer and the H3000 delay and black hole. You know, that on its own, if we just play the chord. Already feels very cinematic, so bringing these string things underneath. Very evocative, very dramatic, very 
cinematic and cool. So I think we'll maybe just pan that stuff out a little bit. And we've got a pretty good setup to score with. So I think we're just going to feel this out. Really, we only need 16 bars of music. So if I can come up with just an okay chord progression, we should be able to futz about with this. And working out of this key reminds me of a piece I've been working on that I haven't actually fleshed out yet. So I think we're just going to steal that idea. And then maybe I'll just take this session and turn it into the full song afterwards. So let's try it out. Uh, I'm just going to get the chords from that up on my phone and try and flesh out the idea a bit more here. The days are never easy. And it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all, and what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist after all. So I think that works. And then here would be the morning coffee with Cameron intro. So I think I'm pretty comfortable with that. Let's give that a go and refine those chords a little bit. And then we'll maybe tweak this idea just a touch. But I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. It doesn't seem to interfere with the speech too much, which is something we do have to consider in this case, just because we are writing a score for what is essentially like a movie trailer type thing, and we've got some dialogue. So we need to make sure we're not doing a bunch of stuff that eats up that frequency range. So I think this works well. It's very, you know, Icelandic, Nordic, whatever, super minimal feels pretty good, very spacious, very lush. So I think doing this and then maybe bringing in a nice synth drone or two should really fill this out nicely. So let's roll with what we got here with Piano Tech and the instances of labs and then watch it back. The days are never easy and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all, and what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. Whoops, we goofed that one a little bit there, but it's okay, we can do it again. The days are never easy. And it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all. And what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist after all. Okay, I think that felt pretty good. Let's take the click away and watch it all together and see what we've got. The days are never easy, and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. Cheers. You are an artist after all, 
and what is the purpose of your existence without that was foam eating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log... So I don't like this chord here at uh, bar 12. So what have we got going on here? Take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. Maybe that could be kind of cool. Ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist after all. Cool, so I'm pretty good with that, and I like the layers there. I think maybe just on these strings, we're gonna have a high drone there on the out, so that's gonna be a up there on the five. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist, after all. So... Maybe we'll bring it up an octave on that. There's just one catch. You are an artist after all. Okay, didn't like that. That's okay. Let's bring it down. After all. Let's try that. You are an artist after all. Maybe just on one of them. See those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist after all. Okay. I think I'm pretty cool with that. Uh, not a whole lot to complain about. With the basic idea out of the way, I think we could bring in something else just to add some texture and synthy stuff. So I usually use generate for this kind of stuff. Generate is just like my favorite synth for scoring with. It just sounds really, really good. So let's try and find maybe a pad or something that we can use. Normally I would do, you know, some sound design and stuff, but typically when I'm scoring and whatever, I really avoid that as much as I can just because I need to get stuff done and not, you know, screw around with a bunch of stuff and, you know, waste a whole bunch of time on this kind of thing. So, you know, presets are fine. I'll probably just tweak them a little bit and call it a day. Let's try maybe that. That's pretty cool. Feels nice and crackly. So let's drop that down. And I think that should give us some nice bass as well. So let's throw that through the black hole, but maybe not as much. Because we don't want a whole lot of reverb uh, on that black hole instance. Because we are going to throw this big bassy synth through it. Let's just cut out a good amount of low end. Probably right around there should be fine. And let's give that just a quick play. Cool, that seems good, feels pretty spacious. Let's adjust the attack and stuff here a little teeny bit. Don't think we're gonna mess with any of that. And let's drop this portamento down. Got some good drift, drop the stereo width a little bit. And I'm gonna, th th ideally this is good. I don't really wanna have too much sub though. 
let's give this a go with the helicopters and stupid people with their cars going in the background peacefully. Good scoring ambience. And uh, let's try this out. The days are never easy, and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all, and what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you make So I think we're going to have some more reverb on that. I, I really want that high... I feel like that's pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll try a bit of sketch cassette on this just to add some... Warble, not too much saturation. Something a bit more retro. And then maybe we will add a little bit of noise too on that and do kind of like a that kind of thing just to build up some texture and interest on it. it still feels really wide so I think we'll give that a go here underneath all this and uh, see how that sounds don't want to give it all away at once the days are never easy and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all, and what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist, after all. Okay. Feels pretty good. Let's bring that up in the mix a tiny bit. And I think we could probably just cap this off with a little bit of bass. So what we're going to do is just duplicate this track. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. And let's kill the sends. Let's change this out for something a bit more appropriate to make some nice bass with. So I think we will just do something in rapid, something nice and easy, maybe just kind of a sine wave sub sort of thing and just shave off any brightness to it. Let's take this MIDI and we'll just kill off all the stupid unnecessary notes that aren't bass because you know what's the point of that and get rid of this 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 uh-huh 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 and then probably no bass for this first bit let's see the bass gonna come in here without creating there are gigs to be played for exposure that feels like a good place for the bass to start rolling in so let's drop that down an octave Let's maybe make it more of a triangle -ish shape just so we get a few more harmonics. Maybe we'll bring in just a teeny bit of tube drive and see how that sounds of your existence without creating. There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. 
but now you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You... Okay, so that seems pretty good. We're missing a few critical notes there, so I know this is going to come in on bar six. Let's duplicate that MIDI out one more time. Everything before bar six can go. Okay, so... Bass, 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 uh, something, something, more bass, more bass, okay. So some of those notes are going to need to change, just so we don't have anything too not bassy. That's going to get way too subby, I think. So let's hear that. Maybe shave off a little bit more here. Let's drop that to the pro filter and drop that cutoff down with a little bit of key tracking. A severe existence without creating. There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you... So this... Noise is a bit much. Let's maybe do that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in. And you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist after all. Okay, so that sub tails off a little weird. But I think I'm pretty good with that. Let's round this off just a tiny bit. And then I think just to make this sub feel a bit more clear, let's add a sub tuned up a fifth. It's a super common sound design trick just to make the sub feel a bit more apparent. There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. Cool. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your... And I think I'm pretty good with that. Maybe we could do something with one more instance of labs and maybe do mm, sort of like a solo cello -y thingy here at the end. Okay, so cello stuff, that's gonna go into Black Hole because reverb makes life worth living, and... That's a little ugly sounding. Maybe we could do... something like that, I don't really know. Maybe we could do something with the Arctic Swells Decay. Or maybe we'll just bring in some real strings here at the end, but I think this should be pretty cool. Let's try it. Submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to- I think it feels pretty unnecessary, actually. I don't really think we need that. Let's maybe try and do a small string section. So let's do the half section. 
and uh, see where that gets us. Maybe something right about here and make it relatively quiet. It doesn't need to be too crazy. And then take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist after all. That's actually kind of neat. I think let's just roll with that. So just to feel out where this is going to go, I'm going to roll back to like where the bass starts and then we'll start working these strings on. Gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. But now you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into your bank account. Except there's just one catch. You are an artist after all. Not too shabby. I think I'm cool with that. I can't really think of anything else that would be cool here. So the last thing I want to try is maybe, just maybe, a little bit of some kind of super basic synth plucky thingy. So I think we're going to do just a really basic arpeggio. thing. Let's just program a quick sound. So maybe that and make it like eighth notes and then we could add a nice maybe dotted eighth delay or something along those lines just to make this a bit more interesting. Let's get the H3000 just because this is a great delay for scoring and stuff because the presets are just really inspiring and interesting. Uh, let's try band sweep. Not really feeling that. That's a little weird. So that's actually not too bad. I think we could do that and send it into black hole and just do a really, really subtle arpeggiated thing here. Music to their page with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month. I feel like you can barely hear that. And you're ready. So let's try that and with bot followers. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together rolls in, and you're ready to see those sweet, sweet dollars come flowing into you. I honestly think that's just too much, and part of doing this kind of work is knowing when to call it done and when to turn off your too much gene. That brings us to mixing and stuff, and with this kind of stuff, I honestly don't do all that much. I find that as long as you pick sounds that pair nicely together, 
the majority of the work is simply balancing the levels. So we're just gonna start off here with just this piano. The days are never easy, and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of yet another sunset creeps in. You are an artist after all, and what is the purpose of your existence without creating? There are gigs to be played for exposure and drink tickets. There are people trying to message you to promote your music on their Instagram feed. There are SoundCloud spammers who need you to submit your music to their page with bot followers. And it's important to check this with the voiceover. Charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only $9.99 a month across 15 different apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in to cash out your streaming royalties as the excitement of getting your life together will. So that all feels pretty good to me. I think we're just gonna be pretty cheap and fast with this. So we're gonna group these two together. This is gonna be Atmos strings, cool. And I just mix everything with Infinistrip like nine out of 10 times. So what I'm gonna do is just grab Infinistrip and we're just gonna drag that bad boy onto everything else that's gonna need some mixing here. The sub is probably not gonna need much of anything. These strings, I think, just in listening, would probably benefit from the low end being cleaned up. Bit of gain, drive. Some more air. Bit less slow mid. Just so they get out of the way of the piano. Cool, that feels good. The piano is gonna need just a hint of compression. Some mid-range. Add some low mids for warmth. Clean up that bottom end so the sub has room to breathe. Let's bring in that sub and see. Feels very clean. So this instance of generate that we've got going here, um, I'm not entirely sure what it's doing, so let's give it more of a critical listen real fast. Let's get rid of that low end. Let's just add a bunch of drive. Let's do the 70s preamp. Make it real crunchy. Maybe add some like 1K. Maybe a bit of low mid-range. Add some crispy bits up here. And then maybe we'll add some saturation to it. Sounds good. You are an artist after all. But now, you're ready to take charge. After a bit of research, you find some tools to help you manage your time and take charge of your career. For only Feeling pretty loud. Apps and services, you'll finally be able to get things in order. Surely you can afford that. You log in. So these strings, that's really the last thing to mix here. I don't think we're gonna need to do much. Uh, just add some drive, make them feel a bit more upfront. I think we'll go for like the 60s pre. I just like the way that sounds on strings. Uh, let's add a bit of tape saturation. I feel like that's always nice on strings. Let's add some warmth, probably around 200. Just a touch of air. And we're probably gonna need to clear out Just some mid-range there. 
for everything else to breathe. And I'm going to guess that's probably going to sound very clean. The only thing left to do is just add some mastering stuff. So that's going to be super simple. I always just grab a vintage warmer. The days are never easy, and it always feels like there's something left to do as the weight of So the voiceover is going to be done later. We're not going to include it in the final file. Get a limiter. That feels pretty nice and epic, so I'm gonna grab just a quick reference here. I always use this same reference just because I really like this balance. And uh, let's just check that when everything really starts getting rocking and rolling here. Those big strings really overtake everything a bit. The compression on the piano is a bit much, so let's just route it to be parallel by dropping the mix here. And I think we'll drop that uh, low mid just a bit. It's pretty aggressive. Cool, and that is how I score things. And that's pretty much my approach to scoring, so hopefully this was insightful for you, and hopefully it maybe gives you some ideas on how to approach this stuff yourself. Nothing really changes with this. A lot of the time, it's just this exact same process. I just start off with something super basic, and then expand on the idea. Most of the process to me, I think, is just finding the right textures and emotional characters to set to the picture or scene or world that I'm supposed to create for. In this line of work and my relatively limited experience in it so far, I find that this is a pretty effective workflow. I stick to mostly presets and just try to get things done and try to maintain momentum and not think too much and second guess myself and waste a lot of time that way because I feel like that's really easy to fall into when I'm making music. When I'm doing this kind of stuff, I find it's a lot more freeing and I'm very efficient at just getting something done and working through things because I just trust my gut totally and entirely because I know like nine out of 10 times it turns out pretty good. The only thing that's really different that I feel is worth pointing out is maybe when I'm doing this and it's more of a soundtrack thing. So in those cases, I actually just pull up a couple of pictures in the DAW or just alongside the DAW or something and, you know, maybe some screenshots from the app or the home screen or whatever it is I'm writing the music for. And that helps just to get the right theme and vibe going. But other than that, this is the same approach I take to every single scoring session that I do. And that brings us to the end of the video. So hopefully this was insightful and informative for you as to how I approach this stuff and maybe gives you a few ideas to do this kind of stuff yourself. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And as always, I hope this inspires you to get out there and make something awesome.